Hello, 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 my dear friends. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are all doing well, wonderfully, staying home, staying safe, sanitizing, wearing your masks. See the tiny little butterfly there? It was hard for me to see it, but it's there. Welcome all of you to the new normal life after COVID-19. The line outside the office of Secretary of State. I had to go get my license renewed and it was a different experience. Not good, not bad, different. So you could only go in with an appointment. You had to wait outside until the name was called and then they brought you in. There was good social distancing and you waited inside until it was your turn. My appointment was at 1 p.m. and I got called in at 2.15. So basically, give yourself enough time if you're planning on any of these kind of activities like going to the post office, going to the Secretary of State, any this kind of work. Don't plan any appointments right after because you're not going to make it. The lines are long, the wait is long, process takes time. This is just a heads up, plan accordingly, give yourself enough time before and after. It was a gorgeous day and I drove by the lake. Apparently there was a lake right there, I didn't even know, but oh my God, it was beautiful, amazing, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Day, the weather was just 80 degrees and above and there were just people on the boats or doing whatever they would do on the lake, which I don't know, but oh my God, it was amazing. So back at home, trying to reorganize the freezer, that is a total mess. So I'm just emptying out all the hodgepodge of bags of frozen things that I have and finally decided it needs organization. So I put it all in proper Ziploc bags and named the contents of it outside. That way it was easy for me to understand. Otherwise, everything looks green and then I don't know what's going on. So while I'm at it, I want to encourage all of you guys to go into your freezers today in the dark corners of the freezers. Pull everything out and throw out everything that is old or you don't know what it looks like and reorganize it today. It will be well worth your time and it will be highly satisfying. So here is the spot where I pulled all that junk out from and I'm going to clean everything out and reorganize it. If you haven't tried these Theplas, Dudi Theplas, from the Indian store. I highly recommend them. They are a very quick instant snack, lunch item. You can eat it with sabji, pickles. So all this mess is going to be organized and we'll be going back into the freezer and life will be good, hopefully easier. So here is the after. I put everything in this white bin. It's a dish bin from Dollar Tree and I like to put things in there because it makes cleaning very easy. I just have to pull the bin out and wipe the contents underneath. So this is what the after looks like. So I encourage you to do the same in your freezers today. And there is a pesky little raccoon that comes on our deck at night and damages my bird feeder. See what it did last night. I mean, those are all the bird seeds on the deck. And there's my bird feeder, all broken. Parts of it is on the ground all the way. I don't know why he does that. I think it's a raccoon. Usually I bring the bird feeder inside every night and I forgot to do it last night. And this is what I got. So this is what you get for forgetting to take your bird feeder inside at night. 
serves me right, doesn't it? Anyways, this is the mess. And the sad part is, I went to the store and they were all out of bird feed. I mean, they were out of bird feed. So, until I can get some more. My birds are SOL. Getting ready to make some poha for my husband. So here I have some poha in the bowl and I'm washing them. The, make sure you wash all the murky water out. Don't be afraid to wash them. Really, they don't get soggy or lumpy at all. And they need to be washed very clean, a couple of times at least, and then drain all the water out. And at the end of draining the water, add a little bit of fresh water, like maybe two to three spoonfuls, and then let the poha sit and chill. Do its thing. See right there, I'm adding a little bit water, just a touch, not a whole lot. You can see there, the close-up is coming up right there. It's maybe two spoonfuls. And in the meantime, I got all the vegetables chopped up and ready to go in the poha. So I have some diced potatoes, peas, onions. This is kari patta and green chilies slit up. That's the onion right there. And the green peas were frozen, so I soaked them in some water. And here I'm just fluffing up the poha that were sitting in water. And believe me, when you let them sit like that for a while, for at least 10, 15 minutes, they become so soft. They soak up the water, they dry out completely. You can see they're completely dry. And then when you cook them, they will absorb the flavors very nicely. Tried and tested method. Soak the poha for 15 minutes at least. So here the oil is warming up, waiting for it to come up to temperature, adding some cumin seeds, let them splutter, do a little bit of cooking and then goes in the curry patta and the green chilies that were slit. Let the green chilies cook a little bit um, in the oil and then we will add a little bit of hing or asafoetida. Now I'm adding some cut up stalks of coriander. Give a very good flavor. My husband doesn't like raw coriander so I let it cook up in the oil like that and it loses that raw flavor and it still adds the dhania, fresh dhania flavor to my cooking. So that's the alternative I came up for my husband and the rest of my family who doesn't like raw dhania whatsoever. Goes the onion. I added a little bit of turmeric before that. And then um, the onion needs to be cooked and sauteed for a few minutes. So here, giving it a stir to the onion and let them cook. They need to be cooked to a point where they become translucent, almost like transparent. And I like to cover them up and let them cook. The cooking goes faster, plus the moisture from the cover um, prevents the browning of the onions. So here I'm dripping that water back in, the moisture that collected, and they have turned out to be the right consistency and the color that I want. So once I stir them up and I'm happy, then all the rest of the vegetables will go in. Potatoes, green peas, sorry, I forgot the clip here. So the potatoes and green peas are added and now the potatoes were raw, just diced up raw potatoes. So now the potatoes need to cook up really well, like completely done before you add the pohas. The potatoes cannot be raw at all before you add the pohas. So here, keep stirring every few minutes, Keep checking on your potatoes and in the meantime, the dried poha, I'm just adding a little bit of turmeric on it, a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar in the poha itself before I add it to the vegetables. 
that are being cooked. So my potatoes are looking good, but they are not done yet. They still have some rawness to them and I am not ready yet to add the poha. So keep monitoring, keep stirring, make sure you have, keep adding a little bit of water, not a whole lot and enough water for the potatoes to cook well, but not to become mush. And it took a while because they were raw potatoes. Sometimes I semi-cook them in the microwave. Uh, so there I put in a pot to make some chai. Chai has to happen every afternoon at 4 o'clock, 4.15, so that's chai time. So I think the potatoes should be completely cooked by now. And there, they look completely cooked. Even my spatula is able to dice them through. So now goes in the poha with the added turmeric and salt and sugar. Now at this point, just mix up the poha enough that the potatoes kind of get incorporated, the red vegetables, not too much, and then cover it up and let it just sit covered up for a little while. Don't over mix it. Don't try to get it all done by now and let the moisture build with the cover on and let the moisture get absorbed in the potatoes and in the poha and in the peas. And your poha will turn out fluffy yet separated. Like Hindi mein kehte hai na khile khile banenge. To khile khile banane ke liye usko apne moisture mein baithe rehne dena hai. Hilana nahi hai zyada. So don't hilao. Let it chill. And then it will be done. Now you can add fresh coriander and mint on the top. I add peanuts and types, but my husband is avoiding peanuts. So there is a very simple poha ready for chai time. So here you're going to wonder, why is this lady showing us a clip of her doing the dishes? We all do the dishes. What's new? Nothing is new. Just wanted to show you that I do this too. I have to. That is a good stainless steel cleaner, by the way. What I want to show you here is once you're done with your dishes and all the dishes are clean and you're ready to get to the sink, save your orange peels. We all are eating oranges nowadays. And stick them in your garbage disposal at the end of the cleaning dishes session. And then run the water and turn on your disposal. Your sink and the disposal area is going to smell so fresh and citrusy. And the last thing we always, always wash is the sink completely like you see. Please make this a habit. Keep your sink shining at all times. Every time you're done with your dishes, the last thing you wash before you wash your hands, of course, is the sink. Scrub everything, get all the stains out, all the gunkiness of all the leftovers out. Give it a nice rinse. And then you will be so happy when you walk into your kitchen and you see your shiny sink. Happiness and bliss all over. A shiny sink makes me extremely happy. And that is always the key. So make sure you all my beautiful sweeties shine your sink at the end of the day. No matter what. Thank you for your time, your support for watching my channel, for subscribing, and being my supporters. I truly appreciate it. If you have anything that you want me to specifically show you, leave a comment. I would appreciate a comment from you. Will let me know that you are watching and that you are liking my videos. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. God bless. Love you all. Bye.